Hey, how you doing? This is Keith, a.k.a. GQ Smooth, GQ Smooth Films, GQ Smooth Productions 2024. And today's film documentary is called Social Media Part 3. Now, in this day and age we live in today, when it comes to social media, social media is full of people that's trying to get likes and comments when it comes to their videos, when it comes to their posts, when it comes to their pics, and so forth. When it comes to social media, you have a lot of people on there that react to certain videos. That's about violence. That's about crime. That's about sex. That's about cars, clothes, uh, rims, uh, dresses, um, just negative things. So you have a lot of people that react to those type of videos that represent negativity instead of positivity. So you may see people reacting to certain videos, mostly negative videos, and you will see thousands of likes, thousands of comments, thousands of shares when it comes to those type of videos. But when it comes to positive videos, you don't get a lot of likes. You don't get a lot of comments. You don't get a lot of shares. People in this day and age, when it comes to social media, they frown on positivity. They smile on negativity. You don't have to take my word for it. Just see it for yourself. Check it out for yourself. Social media is crazy. Seriously, you have a lot of people that just want validation and attention when it comes to social media. But here's the thing, though. When it comes to social media this day and age, people's relationships are now social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Those are people marriages now. Those are people relationships now. Those are people's friendships now. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Those are people's relationships, friendships, and marriages. When it comes to the day and age we live in today, this day and age we live in today is all about social media. You know what I mean? And it is so sad, so crazy for people to to for people to be more focused on social media than their own relationships, than their own family, than their own friendships. And believe it or not, people when it comes to social media, social media is ruining people's friendships, family ships, and relationships. Seriously. And it's so sad. You know what? I bet you if social media disappeared for, let's say, a couple of days, people will go crazy. Screaming, yelling, going crazy. I'm serious. That's how addictive social media is. You know what I mean? Um, but it's, it's crazy because when it comes to social media, people are not realizing what it's actually doing to their brain, to their relationships, friendships, and marriages. You know what I mean? So... But when it comes to social media, you have a lot of people in there that's promoting businesses, their own businesses, people they work for, and so forth. You know, I understand that. Congratulations to the people that are trying to promote their businesses. Because the more you promote business, the more money you make. Okay, I understand that. 
And even when you got people on social media that's posting anything that has anything to do with positivity. I admire that. I have no problem with that. You know what I mean? That's cool. But what I have a problem with is when it comes to certain people or a person on social media, they feel like they need to post different materialistic things on social media to get attention. That's what I don't like when it comes to your family, when it comes to your friends, when it comes to men on social media, they feel the need to post cars, rims, clothes, and so forth to impress their family and their friends or their business uh, associates or Facebook friends or Facebook family members or Instagram friends or Instagram family members or TikTok friends or TikTok family members just for the public to like them, just for family members to like them. And that goes the same with women too. Women post stuff about, you know, their body, nothing but a bra on, panties on, a bunch of makeup and leggings. And the reason they're posting shit like that on social media is so they can get a lot of likes and comments and shares. Seriously. And some women do it to get a man on social media because they know in real life they can't get a man in real life. So they have to post a lot of pictures and photos on social media to get attention from other men because they know those men, those simps, are going to reply with a, hey, beautiful, you're beautiful. Hey, sexy, you're sexy. Hey, gorgeous, you're gorgeous. Wow, look at you. Oh, my God, you are so incredible. You're so sexy. Damn. And they like that. They like the validation. They like the attention. But if you want to get a man's attention when it comes to the women on social media, get a man atten- get a man's attention with your, your mind, your soul, your spirit, your vibe, your chemistry, your energy. The most important things. Trying to get a man's attention when it comes to the women on social media with your body parts, your breast, your ass. Uh, your bra, your panties, your fake hair, colored hair, uh, long nails, leggings, makeup, twerking, dancing, and all that shit that don't mean shit when it comes to social media. The type of dude you're going to get is the type of dude that only wants you just for sex. That's it. Because you're putting it out there. You're not putting anything uh, positive out there. You're putting everything negative out there. You know what I mean? So if you want to get a man's attention when it comes to the women on social media, get a man's attention when it comes to the most important things, positivity, the things I just mentioned, then the negative things, because those are our negative things. Those are negative. You know what I mean? So um, when it comes to social media, it's just, it's ruining people's lives. Now, like I said, there's nothing wrong with people getting on social media to promote businesses, to promote positivity included. And positivity can be posting something about God, posting something about um, um, just positive things. It could be the earth. It could be nature. It could be uh Good eating, good drinking, good exercise, um, taking care of yourself. You know what I mean? Um, Just positive things. You know what I mean? It could be about um, the golden era that we used to live in. It could be about anything that's positive. Okay, that's cool. I admire that. There's nothing wrong with that. Actually, five stars in my book when it comes to posting anything positive that's full of positivity when it comes to social media. Okay. But I look down on people that's posting things about negativity. About just posting things about sex, 
uh, posted things about short dresses and mini skirts and fake hair, fake nails, fake eyelashes, fake behinds, fake chest, um, cars, rims, clothes, shoes, jewelry, chest, you know, and like I said before, the, the reason why people post shit like that is because they're trying to get validation and attention. And even if they do get that attention in public, they're still trying to get people's attention and validation with negative things. It has everything to do with materialism, materialistic things, sex, and sexuality. So here's my motto. When it comes to social media, when it comes to a woman, get a man's attention with your personality instead of your sexuality. When it comes to a man on social media, same thing. Get a woman's attention with your personality instead of sexuality. Get a woman's attention with your mind instead of materialistic things. When it comes to a woman, get a man's attention with your mind, not materialistic things. You know what I mean? So it's crazy how people in this day and age, you have a lot of people that are new souls. And let me explain what a new soul is. New souls are people in this day and age that are abiding by this day and age when it comes to how today today's um, generation has been brainwashed. Like when it comes to today's music, today's reality shows, um, um, just today's generation in general, today's society, um, how it's been brought up. Now, back when I was born, back in the 80s, like, it was so more content. It was so more relaxed. It was uh, so more quiet. You know, there wasn't any social media, cell phones, none of that stuff. But now that it is, this world that we live in is out of control. You feel me? And social media is one of those things that's making... Uh, today's friendships, relationships, and marriages out of control. You know what I mean? For example, you ask somebody, how's their friendship going? How's their relationship going? How's their marriage going? Everything's fine when it comes to social media. No. I mean your actual friendship, your actual marriage, your actual relationship. And what that woman would say, or that man would say is, uh, it's, not too, it's not going too good at all. As a matter of fact, I'm getting a divorce. Um, we're breaking up or we're not friends anymore. But when it comes to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, my relationships, when it comes to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok is going so great. It's going so well. It's amazing. And that is so sad. That's a disgrace when it comes to people like that. They rather brag on social media than their own actual relationships, friendships and marriages in this fucking day and age. And that is so sad. But it's the truth. It's facts. And it's crazy. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So social media has become so addictive when it comes to the public, when it comes to friends, family, and marriages, when it comes to just the human race in general, you know what I mean? Cause they feel like they need it or they go crazy. You know what I mean? And it's so sad. Um, but, but what I've learned when it comes to people in social media is that, um, you have, there's half and half, but you have a large percentage of people that are uh, addicted when it comes to social media than the ones that isn't addicted when it comes to social media. So I'm going to give you a percentage. You have 
out of 100% of people, um, statistics show out of 100% of people that's on social media, you have 97% of people on social media that are addicted to social media. And then you have the other 3% that isn't addicted when it comes to social media. You have 97% of people on social media that's materialistic. And the other 3% isn't materialistic. Um, You have 97% of people on social media that is posting things on social media to make it seem like that they're portraying portraying to be that character, nice, kind, sweethearted, and so forth, than the ones that isn't. You know what I mean? So you so in conclusion, you have a lot of people that are pretenders, that are fake people on social media, than the ones that isn't. And that is so sad. That is so messed up. That is so fucked up. You know what I mean? So social media is one of those uh, sites to where it's like um, when you get on social media, you will feel you don't have to be in that person's presence that's on social media. But if you're seeing a video of theirs on social media, you will feel that bad vibe coming from that person. You can just feel it. You can just tell. And if you can feel a person's vibe when you're not even in front of that person or those people that's on social media, that should let you that should let you know that should let that that should tell you everything you need to know about people and social media that that they're only trying to get attention and validation. You know, what I mean, so that's what it is. That's what it is about social media (laughs) you know it is so we 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 live in a this is so we live in a time and age that because of social media when it comes to marriages when it comes to relationships when it comes to family ships they're all ruined or they're going to be ruined or they're on the verge of being ruined or they're close to being ruined because of social media. And I don't care what nobody say. You can agree or disagree. It really doesn't matter. But I am going to speak the truth. You know? The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth when it comes to social media. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. People that's on there, not everybody, but the majority of people that's on those social media sites, you know, saying um, are fraud and fraudulent. When it comes to the women, they feel like they need to post pictures of them in dresses or short dresses or showing off their behind or their breasts or makeup and leggings or twerking and dancing are cars and houses and so forth and fake hair, fake nails, fake eyelashes, just to get men's attention, just to get validation, just to get cars from them, just to get a house from them, just to get jewelry from them, just to get money from them, just to get sex from them. And then when it comes, when it comes to the men on social media, men feel the need to post, you know, their chest, um, their body, um, their money, their cars, their clothes, their rims, their jewelry, the way they look is because to get money from women, believe it or not, to get a house, to get a car, to get money, to get jewelry, to get sex, to get validation, to get attention from other women. And that's the truth. <laughs> and that is the truth. Just like women can do it, men can do it too. Just like women are on social media to get validation and attention, you got a lot of men that's on on social media to get validation and attention as well. You feel me? And that's the truth. That is the truth. You know what I mean? So you'll see it. Don't take my word for it. 
Just take a look for yourself. Just see it for yourself. You know? So, that's my film, documentary, video voiceover for the day. My name is Keith Bryant, a.k.a. GQ Smooth, GQ Smooth Films, GQ Smooth Productions 2024. And today's film, video, documentary is called Social Media Part 3. So, I'm here to say, always and every day, Peace, love, and harmony. God is love, and love is God.